Hello guys, in this video I am going to introduce you to this project called as CassieBase. I have seen few videos around this CassieBase on YouTube and I have also gone through their document and website to see what it's all about because they are claiming to be an alternate to Langchain. In my experiment so far, and this is strictly my personal opinion, I don't think so it is anywhere near Langchain at all. Not only um, the installation and configuration is very hard and cryptic, but also it is not easy to use as Langchain. Plus there are a lot of other things which are bit off putting. And let me show you why I'm saying that. But before that, um, CassieBase is on the surface a very good project, which is open source vector and knowledge database store with a web UI similar to Langchain as you see they are claiming to be in their GitHub repo. Now, the first thing you may be doing is to see that, okay, they have a demo site. Let's go there and check their demo. And as soon as you open the demo, you see that there is some Chinese prompt. Nothing wrong with uh, Chinese, but they should have said it somewhere here that this uh, is bilingual or Chinese because from here I can't really tell what exactly language it is using. So let me ask it couple of questions here uh, why line is king of jungle and press enter and then let's see so I'm just trying to see if it is able to produce English result or Chinese as you can see it has produced quite a good speedy English result and the result is quite good because I think on the on the back end it is simply using chat GPT okay now this is one thing and now secondly let me show you how it works the diagram which they have shared is very easy so it has a front end and back end from front end you start you log in with your sso credentials and this sso is a big problem and i'll shortly tell you why i have a problem with this after this sso you can upload your uh, documents or whatever custom data you want to use and then it creates a vector representation or embeddings out of it and store it in your knowledge store and selecting a knowledge store is another headache you have to go through a lot of options and stuff and from there then your AI model whatever you uh, AI model you can use for example go here chat uh, GPT and stuff and there are a lot of good options here which is a good thing but then after this it just ends now coming back to IAM SSO if you go to the installation um, instructions from their github repo and then you go to cassiebase.org to see this installation so they are saying that okay these are the prerequisites which is fine nothing wrong with it these are the data stores you have to select uh, so but I'll leave it for now now there are two things here First, as soon as you go here, you see on the right hand side, someone is trying to sell you. Now, you wonder that I am on cassiebase.org, why I am being sent messages from Castor. What is Castor? Now, it turns out that you cannot use this uh, without Castor SSO. Castor SSO is used for this SSO which I mentioned here. And this is how you configure Castor. So you have to create an organization in Castor, which is a separate site, it seems, or separate application. And then from there, you need to set all of your providers and all that stuff. Can you use without it? I don't think so. I haven't seen anywhere that uh, how would you use it because it is everywhere in the documentation. It is, documentation it is saying deploy Castor and Cassiebase separately. Now. This is one off-putting thing. I don't want to, you know, outsource or use any third-party SSO when I already have Okta or my AD and other, other stuff. Why should I go with another SSO option? Anyway, so once that's done, then if you look at here, um, configuring the data store is also a bit strange, I would say. I think they should just create uh, another option for it instead of giving it in one go because this makes it so hard to run and then you have to just run it and all that stuff which seems pretty okay now there are a lot of uh, things you need to be careful as what yarn version you are using go version and all that stuff so it's not as easy as it looks here i'm sure it will work but i think it's not as easy as langchain 
in my humble opinion so installation is better of putting especially this on the right hand side and this sso now coming back to their github repo another thing which i noticed is that their documentation is good but this thing is a plus where they are using lot of models like open ai hugging face cloud open router any and the list goes on and on and i'm sure it will increase their embedding model list is also quite comprehensive which i'm very impressed about so this is it guys these are my thoughts on it i think a good project but uh, they should make their documentation more clear plus i think having these two separate cassi base cas store that shouldn't be the case i don't think so you know uh, at least most of the serious buyers i don't think so they'll be much happy about it and maybe to save this marketing for later when we already have tested and stuff that's it guys these are my thoughts on this new project let me know what do you think if you are already using it or if i have just got it all wrong feel free to just correct me and i'll be happy to do another video on it and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much